Hello everyone, today we are going to learn how to log error into database in ASP.NET Core. For this, we are using a library which is named Serilog. And I am going to use an ASP.NET Core API project for this. I already have a project so I am not creating a new if you don't have one you can create a new first we are going to install some packages from the NuGet so we will open manage NuGet packages and search serilog dot asp net core here install this and wait for it Okay, click on accept. Okay, it has installed now. Now install another package which is serilog dot settings dot configuration click on install it also have installed now add another package which is serilog dot enrichers dot process click on install and wait 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 okay it also has installed so next package will be this serilog dot enrichers dot environment and we have one more package which is uh, serilog.enrichers.thread now we are, we are going to add one last package it is used for a database entry and it is serilog dot sinks dot ms sql yeah this one serilog dot sinks dot ms sql server okay let's check its dependencies is it compatible or not for .NET Core 3.1 yes it is compatible now we will install it So all the install sorry all the packages has installed now move to the next part which is inside the program.cs file here we will do some changes inside the main method
so right where config equals to new configuration build builder dot add json file app setting dot json comma build log dot logger equals to new logger configuration read from dot configuration config dot create logger try log dot information application starting here create sorry not create yes create host builder dot run now catch and we will log error here log dot fatal ex exception ex log dot ex fail to start now finally log dot close and plus and here we are going to add just a line which is use seri dog okay now program.cs file section is done let's move into another section which is app setting.json and i already have written a code so i'm not going to return it again i'm just copying and pasting it you can find that code inside a link which I am going to provide you in a description box. Serilog using minimum label here we have to define a connection string where we are going to log our errors so i am changing the database name here data source and everything is fine now okay this part also has done 
now let's create a controller for this I am naming it test controller here we will declare a private read only property i logger here we have two options using microsoft dot extension dot login and using seri log you have to use microsoft dot extension dot login test controller logger now define a constructor here logger equals to logger okay till now everything is fine let's create a method name test divide by zero try int n equals to 12 and sum equals to n by 0 catch exception ex here we are going to log error with log error method and pass a message error on test controller test divide by zero method return ok now let's check it how it is going ok it's giving error which is a part of developers daily routine now let's check what is going here I think there is a mistake in a uh, files name app settings dot json it is app settings dot json let's run it again okay fine no errors so far so enter a url pi slash test slash test what is the name of the method test divided by zero
ओके इट्स फाइन नाउ लेट्स चेक इनटू डेटाबेस वेदर इट हैज सेव्ड अ एरर और नॉट सो वट इज द नेम ऑफ आवर डेटाबेस ऑथ कोर ए पी आई डी बी एंड इट हैज़ ऑटोमेटिकली क्रिएटेड अ टेबल विच इज नेम लॉग्स एंड हेयर वी हैव लॉग एंड एक्सेप्शन इट वॉज द मैसेज विच वी हैड पास error on test controller test divided by zero method it is message template time of the error and detail of the exception okay guys it's done for today if you found this video helpful then please hit the like button thank you